We have completed depletion type MOSFET biasing and before starting the biasing of enhancement type MOSFET we will quickly solve one problem. In this problem there are two parts. In A part we will find IDQ and VGSQ they are the coordinates of operating point. So we will find operating point in the A part. In the B part we will find VDS which is the output voltage output voltage and Vs, Vs is the potential at the source terminal. So these are the two parts and we will start with A part of the problem and to find out the operating point we need two curves. First one is the transfer curve of the device. The device is N channel depletion type MOSFET. So we need the transfer curve of N channel depletion type MOSFET and here you can see IDSS given as 8 milliamp, VP given as minus 8 volt. So for this we will plot the transfer curve and the second curve is the straight line which is the load line and we will obtain the load line once we apply KVL in the input loop. So let's quickly perform these two steps. I will start with the transfer curve of the device. We will plot the transfer curve for IDSS equal to 8 milliamp and VP equal to minus 8 volt. We need 1, 2, 3 and 4 points for the transfer curve. In first point the drain current ID is equal to 0 amp and when you put ID equal to 0 amp in the Shockley's equation you will get VGS equal to minus 8 volt and in the second point VGS is equal to VP over 2 VP is equal to minus 8 volt so VP over 2 is simply equal to minus 4 volt and for this we will get the drain current equal to IDSS over 4 IDSS is 8 milliamp so we will get 2 milliamp and these two points these two points are for the case when VGS is negative in the third point we will have VGS equal to 0 volt VGS equal to 0 volt and for this the drain current is equal to IDSS IDSS is 8 milliamp so drain current is equal to 8 milliamp and this point we get when VGS is equal to 0 volt and the fourth point fourth point is for the case when VGS is positive we are trying to obtain the transfer curve for N channel depletion type MOSFET and in case of depletion type MOSFETs we have to consider the case when VGS is positive and for this reason only we are getting the fourth point. In case of JFET we only require 1, 2 and 3 points. So when VGS is positive and let's say it is equal to 2 volt the drain current ID is equal to 12.5 milliamp and this is when VGS is positive greater than 0 volt. So we have the four points and by using these four points we can easily plot the transfer curve. So let's quickly plot the transfer curve for the device when IDSS is 8 milliamp and VP is equal to minus 8 volt. You can see I have located all the four points in the graph. First point, second point, third point and the fourth point and now I will join them to get the final result. So this is how the transfer curve of this device will look and now we will plot the load line and for that I will apply KVL in this loop. Potential here is equal to 0 volt. Gate terminal is connected to the ground and we will start from 0 volt and we will end at minus 4 volt and one thing you can see in this network is that there are two biasing potentials the first one is VDD which is equal to 18 volt and the second one is VSS which is equal to minus 4 volt so this biasing scheme is not that efficient because we have two potential sources now let's find the load line equation 0 volt minus VGS VGS the input voltage then we will subtract the drop across this resistance 0 0.39 kilo ohm resistance this is resistance RS and current flowing 
is i s or we can write i d so the drop is i d r s equal to minus 4 volt minus 4 volt so vgs we can write as 4 volt minus inside the bracket 0 0.39 kilo ohm multiplied with i d so this is the equation of a straight line and to plot the straight line we need two points let's start with the first point to get this first point i will make id equal to 0 amp in this equation and when you make id equal to 0 amp you will get vgs equal to 4 volt vgs equal to 4 volt and now for the second point i will make vgs equal to 0 volt make vgs equal to 0 volt and you will get id the drain current equal to 4 volt over 0 0.39 kilo ohm solve this and you will get 10.25 milliamp or we can write 10.3 milliamp so in this way we have two points let's locate them in the graph the x coordinate of the first point is 4 volt and the y coordinate is 0 amp so this is the first point and the x coordinate of second point is 0 volt and the y coordinate is equal to 10.3 milliamp so this will be the second point i will join them to get the load line of the network this is the load line and you can clearly see the point of intersection this is the point of intersection and hence this is the operating point of this network the y coordinate of the operating point is 9 milliamp you can see it is 9 milliamp and the x coordinate is 0 0.5 volt 0 0.5 volt therefore i dq is equal to 9 milliamp and vgs q is equal to 0 0.5 volt so this is our answer the answer of a part and now we will solve the b part in b part we have to find vds and vs and in order to find out vds simply apply kvl starting from 18 volt and ending at minus 4 volt when you solve it you will get vds vds is the output voltage i will not solve this part and to calculate vs which is the potential at this point apply kvl starting from vs and ending at minus 4 volt you will get vs and once you have the values of vds and vs post them in comment section so the b part is homework problem for you and if you have any doubt regarding any part explained in this lecture you may ask in the comment section from the next lecture we will start biasing of enhancement type mosfet